Here at the Hamilton County Courthouse, a judge revoked Taiwan Greathouse's bond as he waits for his trial after being charged with giving his son a deadly amount of fentanyl. But testimony revealed that two year old Montana may not have been the only child involved. And I check my notes to make sure that I believe she's 15. A 15 year old girl that this CPD detective testified was helping her parents sell drugs. That he texted Miss Bell and said, Ask Nai Nai. Who is Nai Nai? The nickname that the family refers to Lanaya, which is their daughter. All revealed, police say, after her two year old brother died from a fentanyl overdose. So 25 nanograms of fentanyl that were found in Montana's body on that report, that's fatal. Yes. That's a lot. That's the story Detective James King relayed while on the stand. He and CPS also report that drugs were found in the 15 year old system and in another older siblings as well. When those tests come back positive, I was notified by CPS that their hair follicle test for those two had also come back positive. This testimony is one thing that led to Judge Amy Dunn revoking Great House's bond. I think your 15 year old child was at times um, asked to assist Ms. Bell in locating narcotics for distribution. But how common is it for children to be exposed to drugs and the drug trade by their parents? Paul Fuchkar with CADIS in Chattanooga says we're seeing it more. When we see 15 to 17 year old adolescents who have addiction issues, the parents are often a part of those addiction issues. And that fentanyl is more dangerous than some realize. There's always going to be a number of people because of the mixing process that, that uh, will overdose. And, and adolescents may not be aware of that as much. In Chattanooga, Mary Beth Mangrum, News Channel 9. Thanks for watching News Channel 9. For more great local news coverage, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. News Channel 9, depend on us.